I did not mean to back out of the championship mode. All right, we're good. So what's next? Uh, let's find out. I know what's next. I just don't know what I can use. A three-door race. Three-door cup. We can use... Trino Soup. Can you use the Supra? Okay. EK9, Civic, Integra, Nissan March, 180SX, Fair Lady. RX-7. Hmm. Um... Out of all of these... I think the one that speaks to me the most, <coughs> if I have it unlocked, because I don't actually know. Let me just, uh... Unfortunately, it's not the Toyota Will Cypher. Yeah, it's the Nissan March. AK-12. You know what? We're gonna get in this, uh... Kind of in between orange and brown. Like... It's, it's too bright to be brown, but it's too dark to be orange. And, as we all know, uh, hopefully brown is just dark orange, so... Let's go ahead and tune this bitch up, because I can. Oh, the stats are actually going up! Oh, never mind. Well, unfortunately the horn's gonna do nothing, but I'm gonna do the horn anyways. It's built different. I like how we're just making our own head cannon of uh, Cisco, like right in front of his face. Anyways, three door cup, three door car race. Any three door car can race. Three door, three door. So we're going to down down street, high pitch pass, and Bayside Freeway for this series. One lap each. Away. We I I have a really bad habit of like just kind of swinging this around. Again, at least the Wiimote, like, fits snugly in this, so it's not, it's not gonna, like, fly out if I do this, so it's fine. It's because Ultra Instinct. But we got a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of marches here. With me. March gang. I'm guessing the other three-door cars are a little bit too high performance for the March to handle. Or at least that's what the game thinks. We wheeled for the one Mario Kart Wii. Yeah! This is an official Ubisoft wheel insert. By the way, Ubisoft published this game over here. I didn't know, I didn't mention that until now. Ubisoft publi like, published this. And this is a Ubisoft branded uh, wheel, Wii wheel. Like running in the nineties. It's a very Euro beady soundtrack. It's this this game is aggressively Japanese, and I love it. Very easy so far. Yeah, oops, all marches. I actually turned accidentally turned this into a uh, Nissan March One Make series. Oh well. Import tuner challenge. Oh, they did. Oh. Hmm. So they did. That's cute. Anyways. Time for some mountain racing. Mountain road racing. Oh, I missed the quick launch. Terrip not running. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Let's go. This is some fucking energy. Again, there's... Kind of hard to read because I was whizzing by, but there was uh, some more advanced GT and advanced rally uh, advertising. Despite that not being the names of those games over here. It's something not shitty. I mean, Ubisoft wasn't always just, we want a open world RPG adventure in every game. Every game must be Assassin's Creed.
But they did, uh, publish some... international releases of uh, Japanese games, like Import Tuner Challenge and this. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, this is... This is the true origin of the GT and Rhino GT4. I have fooled you all. Far Cry 2. The only Far Cry game I've ever played was Blood Dragon, and honestly, I enjoyed Blood Dragon, but only for the aesthetic. The gameplay was fun, but also got very kind of meh after a while. Mostly because I was going grinding for 100%. Actually, I don't know Reaper, because I don't know the release table of the other Advanced GT games. I'm going to guess yes. There's Bayside Freeway. Highway track got the quick launch. So yeah, right around 6,000 to 6,500 RPM is the quick launch uh, window. Cool. Every time I run over those little uh, connector things in the road, Vibration in the controller in the Wii remote. Bump, bump, bump. Big bridge, bump. Version of the Micra. I don't know actually. Is the micro? Oh, okay. That's something I genuinely did not know, so. <laughs> K12 micro. Big building. I haven't, haven't looked, pressed B yet at all. B is the look behind. Look at me go. Okay, I think that was just the song. I thought it was skipping for a moment. No, that's just how the song is. Tunnel! We're gonna go to six gear in the tunnel. It's on also PS2. Nope, just the Nintendo Wii. It's a Wii exclusive. Unless you live in Japan, in which case it's also on the uh, GameCube. Actually, I don't know if there was a Wii version of this in Japan. There might have been. I don't know, for sure. Anyways, I win the uh, impromptu March 1 make with the three in the three-door championship. Also, I just realized I don't think I gotta I let one of the replays play for a while. Whoops. Hey, we got new headlights. Colors. Yo, we can have blue headlights so we can break the law. Steering wheel made from Mario Kart. It actually came bundled with its own steering wheel insert. I don't know if it's compatible with the Mario Kart wheel, but this is literally just an, an insert for the Wii remote. Like, it doesn't have any sort of functionality other than being a remote holder. Anyways, we unlocked an old Celica. An old Toyota Celica, very nice. I guess that was the three-door Celica we could have used. Or no, Supra. Supra was on the thing. But anyways, that's done. So we have one championship left in the beginner's class. And we have our fifth trophy in the trophy case. I still love how cute that is, where... I wish there was, a, like, a free camera button in the garage. Or mode in the garage. Oh, there absolutely is. Sort of. Yes, but no. We can we can kind of tilt the camera, but it recenters itself once you let go. Anyways, uh, on to the beginner series finale.